everything that is birthed into this life, manifest into this life, you create in this life happens from nothing. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, my question is related to competition. I'm getting ready to compete next week in the IBJJF American Nationals Tournament in Vegas, which is one of the top 10 biggest BJJ tournaments in the world. I got silver in 2019, and I'm going for it all this time. In regards to my state and optimizing for the flight, what would you recommend I do to prepare my mind and state for the battle. I've been training hard, eating good, sleeping right, and visualizing my success. But I just wanted to get your take on some things that I can do mentally or physically to potentially have an edge over my component, my opponents. So you are doing everything right in an active way, right? In an active way, you're eating. You're eating well, you're training hard, you're sleeping right, and you're visualizing your success. And that visualization can be, can be put on hyperdrive if you visualize, but you also emotionalize. Meaning when you visualize, even like go through the movements with your body, right? Like visualize, go through the movements with your body like you're doing something and feel the, feel the excitement of pinning somebody. Feel the excitement of winning that match, right? Like don't just, don't just visualize, but feel it, feel it. That's, you know, a lot of people get confused when they hear me talk about feelings. I'm not against feelings because feelings are so important. They are the soil in which our mental seeds have give birth. Oftentimes, we just birth in the wrong things. So you want to use your feeling body. The feeling body is the feminine within the man. And the feminine within the man is... is, is penetrated by the masculine mind. The mind is masculine, the heart is feminine. So you gotta use the mind to visualize. It's good, it's good to visualize. But if you really wanna bear fruit, you gotta drop it into the soil. The soil is in your heart, is in your emotions. So visualizing is the seed, emotionalizing is the soil. That's how you're gonna bear fruit. So visualization is great, it's not enough. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it, right? Like it's real. And that's how you really get the most out of your visualization. Now, all those active activities, they're, they're great, they're perfect. You need to keep doing them, but all birth happens from darkness. Everything that happens, everything that is birthed into this life, manifest into this life, you create in this life happens from nothing, right? You have not won yet. Right? Let me give you that. You didn't win that trophy yet. It's still a blank slate. It's an abyss. Everything emerges from the abyss. And so the reason why I tell you that is because you need to become one with the abyss. You need to become with, one with stillness right before you manifest that trophy, right? that win. And what does that look like practically? That looks like training hard, eating hard, sleeping hard, visualizing real hard, and then stop. When you're ready, when it's game day, when it's game hour, when it's match time, you gotta be calm. You gotta be relaxed. You gotta be cool. You gotta be ready to flip on that switch, right? And so you don't want to go into your match anxious. You don't want to go into your match still visualizing and, and feeling like you're in it. You want to go into that match just real loose. You see the boxers, right? They do shit like this, right? What are they doing? They're staying loose. They're staying relaxed. They're staying chill. You got to be chill. I think that's one of the things that I sort of, I missed in my early days as an athlete. Because I'm such a beast, I would burn myself out before the game even began, and I'd be shouting, ah, pounding my chest, banging heads with the other football players. And I'm like, I'm the guy that got the team all jacked up. Well, by the time the game happened, I was kind of like blew my load already. Right? It wasn't until I got much older, you know, I was a kid. It wasn't until I got much older, maybe like halfway through college, and then definitely when I started strongman, that I realized that the more cool I am, the more relaxed I am, 
the more chill I am, just, you know, the day, few hours leading up to the match, to the, to the lift or whatever it is, the more I was able to drop the spark and light the fire. You may hear me do this in some of my videos, some of my lifting videos, but like before I'm about to perform, I have a what's called an anchor, a mental anchor. This is important. You anchor, you can anchor your um, emotional state with a movement or a sound. So when I'm about to do a PR on a lift, I walk up to the lift, right, and I'm cool. Right, I'm not now. I'm doing. I'm not doing the slapping thing. Nobody's slapping my back or headbutting me. I'm not doing any of that shit. I'm cool. And then I and then here's my. This is when I flip the switch. Ha! That's it. That's my switch. As soon as I go, ha! It's like boom. It's time to go. And I'm still. I'm still calm. I'm still cool. But I turned into a beast. Right. I just turned into the Hulk. And then I set myself up and I do my lift. That's how you want to do it. You want to be cool that day. And then all that visualizing, all that eating right, all that sleeping right, all of that is going to come into that. When you anchor, when you do that anchor, it's all going to ignite a power in you that you didn't know was there. And you're going to destroy this dude, man. You're going to destroy this guy. You're going to win that trophy. You're going to win first place this year. No more 2019 silver shit here for you, bro. You, you're going home with the gold this time. You're doing all the right things. The only difference here now is you're going to turn it on at the right time. Right, you're gonna make that. You're gonna make that happen. So I can't wait to hear. Keep us posted, man. I want to know how you did with this. Yup, you got it, bro. Number one, number one, number one. Done. Yo, it's your bro Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. That sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.